on fire right now that I can contain myself. And Dean talks about imposter syndrome, right? So it had me thinking like, in my culture, it's called the black sheep syndrome. And I, for my whole life, I walk around telling people, I'm the black sheep of the family, the outcast, the person that nobody cared about, nobody loved, nobody valued. So for years, I killed myself trying to prove to the people, love me, I'm worth it, you know? Because no matter what I did or how I did it, it was never good enough for nobody. So I was thinking and I was writing in my journal and I'm like, what could I do to be different than anybody else? Because there's so many motivational coaches out here in this world that's offering motivation and uplifting and, and depression and anxiety. My internet is really tripping because I suffer from all those things. Like I have been the person that has sat in the bed and been depressed for weeks, not showering, not caring about what I look like, not feeding my children, not working lights getting cut off, gas getting cut off, because I grew up like that. You know, I grew up without lights and gas and water. We had rats, roaches. We had no food. Um, to going to, walking to the market and eating in the store and taking baths in the Burger King bath to, to go brush my teeth in Burger King. You know, taking my little sisters because I had to babysit them because my mom had to work so we could afford to pay the rent and the little things that we did have. So because of that, I never was able to go to school. I didn't get an education because my internet is so bad right now. And I, like I said, I didn't get to get an education because... I couldn't go to school because my mom worked and I know I keep saying because because I'm so fired up and I'm so new to this even though I do a lot of videos on YouTube and I just put it out whatever and I tell people I'm blessed in my mess please don't judge me it took me a long time to get here I, I used to cry so much because I felt like nobody loved me. Nobody valued me. I used to kill myself, give the shirt off my back to people just so they can give me some type of attention that I yearned for as a child. And then I had to realize I'm trying to fix things that happened to me when I was a child. And this is why I'm never going anywhere. This is why my life is stuck in the same place because I'm holding on to things that happened to me as a child. I'm holding on to regrets. I'm not forgiving people, even though I want them to love me, even though I want them to value me. I still, I still am holding on to the things that they did to hurt me back then. And it took me, I'm 40 years old. It took me up into these last couple of days to realize that I have to let the past go because it's hurting my future. And you guys may have heard people, you may have heard people say this so many times. You have to let your past go because it's going to affect your future. But I never realized how true that was up until today. And it's like an aha moment, a light bulb moment. Like, I'm so enlightened. So when I say that my dot changed, my dot changed. Because now I want to call, I want to start an organization called From Black Sheep to Bull. And I know it's a lot of people out here that feel like the black sheep. But you always wanted to be that strong bull that take charge. And hey, I'm copywriting this, so you guys don't try to steal my idea. But it's I'm just so fired up about it. Dean, I'm sorry if I'm going against guidelines by doing this extra live. I'm sorry. 
Tony, you guys forgive me, but I had to come on here and do this. So my new dot is, I want to show all of the black sheep that you don't have to be the black sheep. You're not defined by what people told you you would grow up and amount to be. You could be the bull. You could take charge. You could run the whole show. You just got to break the imposter syndrome, the black sheep syndrome. Everything that everybody told you that you would amount up to be, you do the different. You, get, you do it differently. If they said you were never going to be nothing, you show them that you are everything. If they say you're never going to have love, you spread the love that you have to everybody. If they say you're not going to be happy, show them how happy you are. You laugh and you smile even though you want to cry. And yes, nothing is perfect. You're going to have days that's up and you're going to have days that's down. And it took me a long time to be able to sit here and talk to you guys about this with this much passion. You know, because up until right now, I still have people in my life that tell me, you need to quit. Why are you making a fool of yourself? You look stupid on that video. Why did you say that? Who told you that? Nobody's going to listen to you. Nobody has to hear what you have to say. But what I know is, it's somebody out there that's just like me. Somebody right now that's scared to get on this camera and say the things that I'm saying because they don't have the courage or the confidence. And it took me a long time to get here. To tell you the truth, I never, never thought I would be here. I never thought in a million years that I would express my feelings. I was always the type of person that hid in a corner. I never took pictures as a child because I never felt cute. I never felt like nobody wanted a picture of me. I always hid from the pictures because I was dark skinned and I had these black rings around my eyes. Do you know how much women pay to get a smoky eye? I had a natural way back then and didn't even realize it. Those are the things that I was ashamed of. And now women are paying to get these makeup done and get that smoky eye. And I had it all along. Everything that's in you that people doubted you about and told you that wasn't good is the very thing that people are using to this day. Oh my God, do you understand the fire that I'm feeling? Like I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know if I want to, I don't know what I want to do, but I just have to come on here and share it with you guys because I'm so fired up. So to all my black sheep, we got to form a pack. Because when you run in a pack, you can never be conquered or devoured. So, I want you guys to hit me up. I'm LaToya Ferguson on Facebook. Miss Chocolate World on YouTube. Let's form this pack. And turn ourselves from black sheep to bull. And take charge of our lives today. You don't need a new year. You don't need a new day. All you need is a new second to start the change. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy because if I did, that would be a lie. But I can tell you, if you try, you will get results. And that's my word. And I'm here. Whatever you may be facing, whatever you may be going through, whatever may be bothering you, I'm here. Because I never had anyone to talk to. I never had no one to listen to me, to be my shoulder when I cry. But I'm going to be that and more for you guys. It, they say it take a village. And it does. Because what they say, two heads are better than one, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. And I'm all for it. So, to my little black sheep, you are so worth it. You are so worth it. You are 
everything they said you would never be. And I love you. Wholeheartedly, I love you. Because you are the chosen one. And you have the power to be a bull. So I don't want to take up any more of your time. And hopefully that touches somebody. I don't care if it's just one person. Know that today, right now, you can take your power back. And you can change your circumstances. But it all starts right now. You don't need a new day. You just need a new second.